Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my beautiful face and stopping by. I really hope that you stick around for this ride. So without further ado, let's just get started. So by popular demand, in today's video, I'll be reviewing Milk Makeup's Hydro Grip Primer, which I have right here. So I went on my Instagram stories and showed you guys a couple of products that I have in my goodie bag of new products right here that I have in line to review and I asked you guys what product you would want me to review first you guys picked the Hydro Grip Primer but it was a close call so if you pick the other product don't worry those videos and those reviews will come just be patient with me give me time to film and edit and post them for you guys but they'll come anyways today is all about the milk makeup hydro grip primer so let's get started with all the information so this is a hydrating primer that's supposed to make your makeup grip onto your skin and make it last all day so i have mine right here i got mine in the mini size and let me just go on a quick side tangent about mini sizes okay just because i've never taken the word travel size to the heart just because I don't travel with it but what I do use them for is to test out new products get the smaller size the little sample looking size pay less so that when the time comes and I decide that I don't like it or I end up not using it as much as I thought I would then I don't feel as bad as letting it sit in my makeup collection because I told myself that I forgot to return it but when in fact I just get really weird about returning stuff because those cashiers can be really judgmental when you return stuff and I don't want to go through that process and feel weird and feel like I'm in trouble and yeah I'd rather just let it sit in my makeup collection for a year or so until I decide to declutter and end up throwing it away so I know it's not the best piece of advice but if by the end of this video you decide that you want to try this out definitely go buy the mini size test it out because at the end of the day no matter what if I tell you that I do like it and I would recommend your skin and my skin are not the same they're not gonna like the same stuff they're not gonna react the same way so always test it out for yourself and as long as I do videos and I use a product that has a mini size or a travel size of it I will let you guys know so you guys can go buy the travel size if you decide to test it out for yourselves and spend less and then if you don't like it you can leave it in your makeup collection let it sit there for a year or so or you can just go return it and get your money back okay that was such a long tangent I am sorry but we are back on the main road and got the show rolling so yeah I got mine in the mini size at Sephora it comes with 0.33 ounces of product and it was $15 but if you so choose to go buy the full size because you're rich and I am not I'm just kidding that one comes with 1.52 ounces of product and it is $30. So what else do you need to know about this product? This is a primer that is formulated with aloe water, cherry blossom, hyaluronic acid, and B vitamins to support your skin for a healthier looking base and provide a glassy post hot yoga class glow. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever been to hot yoga? Because I have, and if you have also, you know that when you come out of those classes, you look like a freaking wet tomato because your skin is all red, you're all sweaty, just drenched in sweat, your hair is wet, sometimes sticking to your face. I don't get any kind of healthy glow after hot yoga. I look like I'm dying. So, do I wanna look like I'm dying with this? No, but am I still gonna try it? Yes. So yeah, this silicone free, oil free, green tinted formula blends in clear to work across all skin tones and types. Simply allow the formula to sit for one minute to fully absorb and activate the grip for the best results. So let's open this bad boy up and see what it's all about. All right, so I'm gonna, first of all, Mine is still cute because it's a mini size and I'm a sucker for mini sizes as you guys heard in my little tangent earlier. So let me just pump some and see what it feels like. Alright, so it looks greener in the bottle but once you have it in your finger or your hand you can definitely see that it's clear. Now it does feel like thick jelly almost. Alright, so while I let it sit on the back of my hand to show you guys what it's going to look like. I am just gonna tell you guys about some ingredient callouts that they have. First off, this product has hemp derived cannabis seed extract, which is supposed to hydrate and smooth the look of the skin while providing antioxidant benefits. Second off, 
It has blue agave extract, which is supposed to form an invisible layer to grip the makeup and smooth the look of texture and seal in moisture. So it's pretty much like a shield that's protecting your skin while also creating some sort of smooth canvas for you to apply your makeup on. And then lastly, it has the prickly pear cactus extract and aloe water, which just hydrates, soothes, and calms the skin. More important things to know on the ingredients list, I'm gonna have it up right now so you guys can pause the video if you wanna read through those or take a screenshot and read through them later. But this product is free of sulfates SLS and SLES, and it's also free of parabens, and it's also free of a list of other things like coal tar and hydroquinol something 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 sorry guys I am not a scientist okay but this product is vegan cruelty free and gluten free now I can always think something that is cruelty free now I know that once you start reading into these laws the cruelty free laws and how the cosmetics industry works and business deals and different countries laws and all this crap it's crazy and it's a lot of information that you need to know to fully understand how that works but one thing i can tell you is that i don't believe we should be testing on animals because animals are great creatures and we should be treating them well because they treat us well well i don't like cockroaches and spiders and snakes 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 i don't care about snakes okay guys alligators sharks okay look what i'm saying is we should not be testing on animals okay let's just love animals all right look let me just get back on the main road so suggested usage, pump one or two shots of primer on the back of your hand, blend a thin layer onto clean skin before makeup application, allow the formula one minute to fully absorb to activate grip for best results, and then layer foundation and other products on top for a smoother application that lasts all day, or wear alone for a fresh face, glassy looking skin. So let's just get started. All right, I've already applied my moisturizer and my SPF. Now I always apply those. It's a daily routine of mine. Look at me, how crazy I look. I'm just gonna put my hair back because I cannot stand when my hair is in my face and I'm doing my makeup. So this is what I look like. I know I look crazy, guys. Okay guys, sorry. I am just on a roll with all these freaking tangents. Look, I drank my coffee a little too fast, and when I do that, I get a little crazy. So I'm sorry, guys, okay? As I drink my coffee still. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, so one thing I'm not gonna do that says in the suggested usage is apply it on the back of my hand just to apply it on my face. That is dumb. I don't ever do that. The only two reasons I would do that is if I'm testing a new product and I wanna see how it feels or how it looks or if I'm trying to blend foundation colors or concealer colors or anything like that. But I'm not gonna apply the product on here just to transfer it to my face. That's That sounds a little dumb to me, but I am gonna apply it here on my finger. So one pump, two pumps. I did like two and a half, I don't know. And I'm just gonna warm it up on my fingers and then apply it to my face. Now, this feels like jelly. There's no fragrance, at least, as of now but you guys saw my last video how the fragrance situation so <laughs> all right so it feels like I just applied a thick layer of jelly that's really sealed my face in it does feel a little sticky but I'm gonna give it one minute like it says and I'm gonna let it sit there so let's count down you guys Five, four, three, two, one! Woohoo! Alright, calm down, calm down. How do I stop this? Okay. So it's been one minute, as you guys saw. So I guess I'm just gonna start applying my makeup. Now, come on, focus. Don't do this to me. This camera is crazy. I, it's so sensitive and it just likes to focus on everything but me. So. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Okay guys, so I am done with my makeup. I was a little inspired by Kylie Jenner's pink tear duct. Now I know not everyone's a fan of hers, but look, I like her makeup. I like her makeup looks, so yeah. 
Anyways, this is another reason why I could never be a makeup artist, just because I'm not, I'm not original. Look, I see it, I like it, I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it, I want it, I got it. Okay, anyways. So yeah, look, do I look dumb or do I look like her? I'll probably look dumb, not like her. So uh, yeah, anyways. Um, so about the primer, guys, I am just, I, ha I am on a high of energy because that freaking coffee just, it took a toll on me, guys. It really freaking did. Okay, so this primer, guys, I am a little conflicted with my thoughts on it. So first of all, it doesn't have any fragrance and it was sticky at first but i think that once i applied my foundation it kind of just went away because my foundation just kind of really stuck to the primer and it set on my skin now because it's kind of sticky i feel like the foundation set onto my skin faster than i wanted it to because as you can see in this clip when i was trying to blend in my uh concealer it was just uh yeah it was not fun I feel like it was moving the product around, so I don't know if it was just that I left it sitting there for too long, that by the time I went in with my concealer, it had already set onto my skin. I'm not sure. I tried to do my best to blend everything out. I don't know how I feel. Now, I did not set anything on my face, only my under eyes, obviously, because I don't want any creasing, and it already looked patchy, so I was trying to fix it, okay, guys? But other than that, I did not spray any setting spray. I am back, it's now 8.06 p.m. So just about eight hours of me having the product on my face. How do I look? I definitely look freaking oily. I could look a lot better, as you can see. But if you guys do recall, I did not set my face. The only part that I did set was my under eyes, and you can definitely see the difference. My under eyes look very matte. Whereas if you look at my T-zone, I just look freaking shiny. The oils in my skin are definitely starting to peek through, which is uh, pretty normal for me by the end of the day. It usually does happen. But I do want to say that if you guys recall, I did not set my foundation or my makeup earlier just because it was saying that it was going to last all day. So I wanted to test that out. But other than that, I think my makeup looks pretty good. Everything is still on and looks the way it did when I first applied it. So that's always a good sign. Now, you can see that little patch is still there and it's quite annoying to be honest. I am just pretty much ready to blot my face and get rid of all these oils. So to do that, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty uh, blotting powder. Now we're talking. So now it kind of just looks... I still have a little bit of radiance, but I don't look oily, so I love that. I think if I would just have set the foundation in the first place, none of this would have happened or it wouldn't have been as bad as it was just um, a couple of seconds ago. So my overall thoughts of this product, I really do like it. I think earlier I was just a little conflicted and confused as to why my concealer wasn't blending as well as it normally does. As you guys saw, I was having a lot of problems and it was just very frustrating. But I think I figured out what the problem was. I think that I was just so distracted that I didn't realize I let my foundation sit on my skin for a little too long. So by the time I got around to applying concealer and trying to blend it out, everything else had already set onto my skin. So it was just moving the product around. So that's definitely something to think about if you do choose to try this product out. Don't take your time, kind of know that when you go in with your foundation, if you do use concealer, know that you have to do it quick. The quicker, the better. Um, but other than that, I really like the product because my makeup did not break up anywhere on my face. I don't feel like it looks cakey either. I think it was just the oils peeking through. And yeah, I really do like it. Everything is kind of just in place and I really, really like that. Usually my makeup will break around, especially around my smile line since I do, like you guys can see, like usually it would be right here. But I can do that all the time and it still looks good. I feel like I got Botox in a way <laughs> because nothing is breaking up. So I really, really do like it. Will I recommend? Absolutely. So yeah, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I really hope that you guys found it helpful and that you have made your decision if you're going to go test this out or not. If you do so, 
buy the mini size because you don't want to go out there and buy the full size and spend your money on something that you don't know if you're gonna like or not so yeah again thank you so 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 much for watching my videos I really hope that you guys are enjoying if you liked what you saw today please give me a thumbs up if you have any ideas or have any products that you would want me to review for you guys just let me know down in the comments below in fact today I got a box of some new products that I'm super excited about also I have that whole goodie bag of things that I have in line to test out for you guys so yeah as always let me know your comments down below let me know if you tried this out before and how you liked it but again thank you so 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 much for watching and I will see you next time bye